Hello everybody, my name is Lefty and today I am doing my gear video. It's kind of like what I'm bringing, not so much a review, more of just so everybody knows what I have because the goal for this channel is again to make sure that we're kind of seeing the evolution of my playstyle so it's good to know what I'm starting with so that way as it moves on and progresses and evolves we can kind of see how it changes. So um, for starters, let's get down to the base layer. For my base layer, I wear a combination of a dry fit compression tank top and then also dry fit compression leggings. What these do is they help keep my muscles compacted, kind of like massaging while I run to help prevent cramping and any unfortunate things like that while I'm out exercising like Airsoft. Um, they also help to regulate body temperature. So that's super nice to work for the heat and the cold to pull sweat away and then also just trap body heat in, which is just super handy. It also helps to prevent things from rubbing on things that shouldn't be rubbing on stuff. So that's super helpful. But just wait, there's more. I don't just go around looking like this, though I wish I did. I also wear clothes. When it comes to clothes, I kind of have a little bit more customization. So this shirt, this is like the normal shirt that I wear. It's just a nice dry fit athletic shirt, but sometimes I'll change. I just change color depending on the environment I'm in. I like this one because I can blend it in with my background. That's unimportant and completely unnecessary and probably a bad idea cinematographically. Is that a word? Word of the day, cinematograph. That word that I said. I also wear these Dickies jeans. Nothing special. There is nothing tactical about anything that I have on yet. Because it's just jeans I got from Fred Myers and a shirt that I think I got from Costco. But it might have been Fred Myers, so pff, who knows? Um, these won't run you up much. These won't run you up. Right now, it's basically just showing up in a t shirt and jeans and maybe some athletic stuff underneath. The only difference is that the shirts that I always pick are meant for my surroundings. Yes, they're under my vest, but still, the sleeves? If you have bright red sleeves, that's still a target. Not to mention, if you have bright red sleeves and you're on the blue team, you're going to get shot a lot. And then pants, I like these ones because of their color. It's a nice brown color. It goes in a lot with the environment at the swamp, where it's like that nice dry orange, but not quite dirt color that I also have a pair of jeans for in case I do anything outside of Ben. So... That's always fun. Next up, I think, is going to be my vest. Alrighty, so this vest is Rothko brand, and it caught, it ran me up like 80 bucks, which for people that don't have a lot of money, that that's definitely something, but it's definitely cheap, and it's definitely really good for what it is in the long run compared to, like, you know, $1,000 vests and $300 vests. $80, money well spent. I also have fake plates in the front and in the back to prevent sagging. And then on the front, I also have a Lancer Tactical Triple M4 Triple Pistol Taco Taco Pouch, just to help keep stuff held and secure. It's got, it's got a little elastic bands on there to help stop things from falling out, so... Okay, I ain't got any complaints about that. Uh, I think next up is then going to be uh, General Appear Direction. I know, you've had to stare at this for a super long time, so we're trying to get rid of that. <laughs> Don't worry, it's going away soon. First thing that I'm going to put on is my mesh mask, because getting hit in the face sucks butt. And really, all the face stuff I wouldn't actually probably wear, except that it's required at the swamp, and that's kind of where I play the most, so, you know, why not? And if you have it, you might as well wear it so you can get comfortable with it. So this is going to be the first one for an actual physical layer of protection of the lower half of my face. Then, afterwards, purely for aesthetic purposes, comes... Ba -ba -da -bum! My little camouflage buff. This is a new addition that you would not see in any of my... Uh, first Swamp videos that you will see coming up, I guess, I suppose. Woo! This just goes over the top. And this is purely just because I'm not the biggest fan of the way that the mesh mask looks. But also it provides protection for my neck just by having this layer of fabric and then air there. It is super handy at keeping me undeaded. Next thing is going to be my hat. Boop. My hat will either be this baseball cap with my American flag on it, or this black beanie. Um, the black beanie is nice because it fits over everything, but can't go wrong with good old-fashioned camouflage. Plus, then I don't look like a Rainbow Six Siege recruit, which is always appreciated. From here comes iPro. Do, 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 do. Now, these goggles you will hear a lot of me complaining about in my first set of videos because they were all fogged up. 
And you'll even hear me go, and they were all fogged up. And I talked about this in my first gear video. That footage has since been lost and will never be seen again. Don't know where it went. So, here we are, take two. Well, as far as you guys are concerned, it's take one. But as far as I'm concerned, it's probably take like 85 because I don't know how to talk. Anyway, so these goggles, um, they used to fog really bad, but then there's like little vents that go right here. And you just pop those out. Anybody wants to know how to do that, I'll show you. I was so thankful there was somebody on the first day at the swamp, after the last round, of course, came and was like, oh, yeah, here, man, pop, 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 and fixed the whole problem. It's like, well, if you did that at the start of the day, I probably killed a lot more people. But, oh, well. So then I got my Googles to help, you know, keep my face even more protected. And they don't fog up that bad, even with the uh, fabric right under them. Like, yeah, a little bit of air goes up in there, but you just kind of fidget with it, and eventually it starts working out. Let's see. Guns. That's always important. All right, the first gun I'm going to show off to you guys is my GNG GPM 92. There's supposed to be orange right there, but it fell off, and I don't know where it went. Uh, this is basically GNG Armament's best rendition of an M92, my favorite type of pistol. You can get standard mags, and put that back there. <laughs> Extended mags. This is green gas operated, and I haven't had too many issues with it. Um, it has been having an issue lately that I don't know what it is, so please, if you tell me how to fix it, if you know how to fix it, please tell me how to fix it. And that is that the slide um, doesn't come back all the way, so you can't get a new round chambered, and then just dry fires, it kind of goes back. And then another one is the slide doesn't go forward all the way, and then you can't fire at all. And so it's kind of... 70-30 on whether the thing is going to work or not. But overall, it's really fun and it's super realistic. Full metal except for high density polymer handle. Um, green gas. Super effective. Pretty damn cheap for what it is. You can't find more magazines to save your life. Okay, like I'm checking Amazon. I'm checking Evike. I'm checking my store up in Washington. They got nothing. All they can sell me is these extended mags, which is nice and all. But they don't really fit in my mag pouch. Like, yeah, they go in, but then they're huge and they can't get to the rifle mags, which is kind of more important. Especially since I haven't been using the pistol all that much because my holster broke. Woo! Buy, buy a shitty holster, and then you have to buy another one. So if anybody knows any good holsters that would fit a GMG GPM92, I believe it's the same size as the M92FS for the left-handed thigh shooter, please let me know. Please. Much appreciated. Thank you. The big one, right, perfect. The piss de resistance, the one that you're actually going to get to see me, you know, pew pew people with. I'm going to go grab that. It's, it's in the back. Let me, let me grab that. Real quick, don't, don't run away. I'll be right, I'll be right back. All right. This is my Lancer Tactical Gen 2 M4 SD. On it, I'm running a forward grip, and just a little reflex sight that is most likely going to get changed out. I also have a one-point sling, and then a one-point sling clip to rail adapter because it doesn't have any points in the back. So that's that's handy. I like the Lancer. I really do. It's Gen 2. It's really good. I want to get a Gen 3 because they're even better. Working on it. Working on it. Working on it. This thing can accurately shoot over 100 feet, dependent on the BBs you have and the conditions and the maintenance that you put into it. This thing is completely stock, except for new batteries that aren't even fancy LiPo batteries. And then, you know, grippy grips, this. And I didn't take this off. Unlike the pistol that I lost, this one actually broke off while I was at the arena. I was mounted up on a wall, and then I went back, and then it clipped, and out it went. I've got it. So I don't want to reattach it. Simple as that. If I go anywhere that needs them, I have it to put back on. But I'm not, so I don't need it. Um. Yeah. That's that. Alrighty. Oh, gloves, of course. Last but not least, my gloves. I don't know. They just forgot about them. 
These are Thor brand ATB riding gloves. They're lightweight, they're durable, and they're what I have. That's about it. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, remember to slap that like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you dudes next time. Okay, I know I said I was done, but one more. I gotta show something to you guys. Yeah, this is dumb. So, the way a left-handed person has to reload a right-handed M4 is they have the mag release. You have to push the button with your thumb and then pull the mag out. Which is super handy because then you don't drop the mag on the ground. But the issue is then what happens if you have a mag in your hand, right? You can still kind of do it, which is super rad. But let, let, me, let me just pretend... I'm a normal person real quick. So, you you all saw me struggling here. Ready? Reload it. Reload it. Dry. This is stupid. I want to retire. Can I sue God?